May 4th, 2013. It was gonna be my first time flying an unpowered aircraft. For some reason, something told me to bring that medic bag that day, so I got it. We were preparing the plane and getting everything set up, making sure we had maps and everything we need. And we heard a big old crash. One of the planes that were test flying, the plane we were supposed to fly, crashed. I was 16 at the time. I had CPR and first aid. Like, I knew how to slap a Band-Aid on. I don't think there's any amount of training that you can do for your first time to see somebody in need of help. I didn't think about what I felt. I wasn't thinking about me. I wasn't thinking about anything else other than this person needs my help. I have to do something. We went straight into just stopping the bleeding. He had a very severe uh, head laceration across his forehead and I was nervous. I mean, I was shaking a little bit, but I knew that something had to be done and me just sitting around wasn't gonna help the situation. So after that event, um, after it all went down, I saw how EMS worked as a collective unit. Firefighters came out, police came out, helicopter was brought in. I would say it kind of formed what I'm doing today as a combat medic. Whenever I was looking for a career field in the military, I thought back to this scenario and I knew that when I was 16, I was faced with this situation and I was able to conduct myself and react. And that's when I was like, you know what, I think I can do this emergency medicine thing. It's like, I just knew that I can perform in a high stress environment, regardless of like how, how scared I was. Two years later, we got called down to our state meeting facility and we actually got presented with life-saving awards. The best part was that we found out that the pilot lived. 